Maria, thanks for coming from San Antonio all the way to Orlando again. Great to see you again. Now, we just want to hear the basics. Bioaffinity, what is it? What do you do? Thank you, first of all, for inviting me. So Bioaffinity is marketing now a commercial test for the early detection of lung cancer, which is, of course, the leading cancer killer, unfortunately, in the U.S. We offer convenient at-home collection for our um, patients. It's a non-invasive test, meaning, and it also has very high performance. And what that means is that it is a test that has high sensitivity and high specificity for a market that um, is growing, unfortunately, and one that is very large. Bioaffinity also is developing other tests, primarily in the uh, pulmonary marketplace. Two tests that come to mind are for COPD and asthma in precision diagnostics to determine the next step in care after you've been diagnosed with COPD or asthma. Maria, lung cancer, as you said, remains the leading cause of cancer-related deaths worldwide, and it is often because it is diagnosed too late. How does your flagship product, Cypath Lung, change the landscape for early detection? So Cypath Lung is a test that can find very early stage lung cancer. And finding lung cancer at early stage is key to a longer, healthier life. Cypath Lung, which is our non-invasive test, can detect lung cancer at that early stage when treatments are most effective. It finds, it does, uh, it, it is important in two ways. So one is, is that it has very high sensitivity. So if you do have lung cancer, it can determine that there is cancer in the lung. The second is it can also tell you if you have a benign nodule. So most mm -hmm. often people who have small nodules they don't have lung cancer, but they still pose a problem to physicians as to what to do next. And our test is another tool that says, yes, there is cancer in the lung, or no, there is not. Now, can you tell me how Cypath Lung works from a patient's point of view, Maria? Certainly. So a physician, your physician, if you were a patient, would order Cypath Lung because perhaps he or she has found a suspicious lung nodule. And you would receive, I have this, a simple kit. It's just a simple box, and inside there is a collection cup. What we ask patients to do after they get this cup is to um, expel, is to collect sputum, which is the mucus in the lung. Now, most of our patients are people who are at high risk for lung cancer. So, Pro producing sputum is not an issue. And they collect at home in the privacy of their home. They have lots of support. We have a patient coach who works with them. We have videos. We have uh, instructional uh, materials. And that really is the key to finding this, res to, to getting a good sample, is the work that they do. And then the end of the collection, they simply put the kit back into a pre addressed prepaid envelope, and it's shipped overnight to the lab where we, uh, where we uh, produce the result in two days. Your doctors, usually two or three days, will have your result. That's fascinating, Maria. I want to dive more, though, into how your test saves patients and the healthcare system money. Certainly. So last year, a two pulmonologists uh, practicing, one at the Brook Army Medical Hospital, which is our uh, the Department of Defense's largest military hospital system, and also at Audie Murphy, their medical uh, VA. These two physicians looked at the savings that can be accomplished when Cypath Lung is put into the standard of care. And they found that individual savings on an individual patient basis of $2,700 per patient just for Medicare patients. They found for people who had uh, commercial insurance that it was more uh, uh, much higher it was $6400 per patient and that really spelled significant healthcare system savings uh, for the medicare system of 370 million and for the private payers close to 900 million dollars you know maria that is an imp 
impressive amount of savings. And I'm sure that that would be important to government health care systems. Which brings to mind the fact that you've secured a U.S. federal supply schedule contract that's making SciPath Lung available to veterans and federal health care patients. Could you give us some updates on that milestone? Certainly, certainly. So obviously the cost of things and cost savings is extremely important at this time, particularly to government. Uh, we received the federal supply contract uh, last year, late last year, and it does allow us to sell Cypath Lung to the federal marketplace. We see the um, VA as probably our largest market there. It certainly helps us when talking to, uh, to physicians and to hospital systems, and we're really targeting those systems that have large uh, lung cancer screening programs, and many of them do. But it helps us not only to have those cost savings that we can talk about, but also the fact that this test is, has high performance and can really help to um, determine whether, one or, uh, whether our vets have lung cancer or they do not. Now, Maria, you recently announced cost savings for your CAP-CLIA commercial laboratory that is going to continue to drive profitability and growth. What drove those cost savings? So as every well-run business must do, we've taken a hard and a very strategic look at operations at our subsidiary Precision Pathology Laboratory Services. Precision offers SciPath Lung, but it also has been um, offering more than 100 other tests and pathology services, largely in the Texas market. We recently announced that we will be taking these actions to improve financial performance and to accelerate the commercial growth of SciPath Lung. We expect these measures to deliver approximately just about $4 million in cost savings at our subsidiary, while increasing, of course, the resources that we need to expand SciPath Lung as our sales grow. Our commercial focus is really on, just, on um, on high margin uh, services. And that led us to discontinue certain pathology services with suboptimal profit margins, and thus, with that, gave us cost savings. Now, Maria, what's driving the growth of SciPath Lung, and how do you see revenue trends evolving? So, we're forecasting accelerated growth both in the Texas market, in the VA market, and in key strategic regional markets in the U.S. this year, in 2025. We see ever-increasing peer-to-peer introductions, and we're very pleased to see the sharing of cases in which SciPath Lung, the results have really made a difference, um, whether it be a cancer diagnosis or whether it's an avoidance of an unnecessary procedure. I invite our, uh, our listeners to go to SciPathLung.com and to look at these very moving case studies where SciPath Lung has made a difference. Our sales team is very experienced and certainly will be sharing these peer-to-peer -peer stories. Um, and we have operational capacity, which we're very excited to have, to continue in ever-increasing sales into the future. In summary, Maria, for the investors out there, what is the essential value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in bioaffinity right now? So with year-over-year -year sales growth, SciPath Lung remains the very focal point <clears throat> of our commercial strategy. We forecast accelerating SciPath Lung sales growth in strategic national markets in 2025. We include expanding into the U.S. veterans market and healthcare system as well. We have a strong management team, including board members who have brought multiple companies from startup to impressive exits. In fact, Dr. Jamie Platt led teams who sold, that sold companies like ours with novel tests. And each of the two deals she worked on and she led were valued each at a half a billion dollars. SciPath Lung is a platform technology, and that's important to keep in mind 
because we will be developing tests with huge markets, not only lung cancer, which is our commercial market now, but we're developing tests for COPD and for COPD and asthma, and those will be more precision medicine tests. We've already announced our collaborative work with the Department of Defense, and we expect not only to continue that work, but also to enhance that collaboration over the coming years. I think bioaffinity has a very strong future, and I invite investors to watch us grow in 2025. It's a great story, Maria, and thank you again for telling it, and welcome again to Orlando. Thank you very much.